Hey guys, how's it going? It's Philip with Trade Genius, and uh, so it's Friday, November 24th, and guess what? Another Bitcoin fork. So, this one is called Bitcoin Diamond, and basically, you know, it's another another attempt at uh, some developers that are taking the existing Bitcoin um, architecture, making some changes that they feel could improve upon the uh, existing Bitcoin protocol and forking it off. Um, here's some interesting things to note with this particular fork, and we'll go over some other uh, features, but basically what they're doing is they're gonna take uh, the 21 million supply that Bitcoin has, they're gonna make that 10 times bigger, so it'll be 210 million. So on this fork, you're gonna get, for every one Bitcoin you own, 10 times the amount. So one Bitcoin, you'll get 10 Bitcoin diamonds. So 10 times whatever you're holding in your Bitcoin wallet. And the uh, we can take a look at the uh, uh, fork height because that's where this is going to start off in. Right now it's uh, 4 a.m. Eastern. Um, so between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Eastern, we'll probably, we'll probably reach the block height in which this will fork off. And then whatever amounts were in Bitcoin wallets at that time will be carried over uh, times 10 over to the uh, Bitcoin Diamond blockchain fork. But... Uh, what we can do is look at uh, so this is the uh, website for better, uh, Bitcoin Diamond, and uh, if we, their block height is four four nine five eight six six, and we can look here. We are at four nine five eight six zero, so about six more blocks. And uh, right now we've had a little pause in the uh, blocks, taking a little longer, but you know roughly ten minute blocks on average. So uh, we'll figure about an hour, hour plus. So anywhere between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Eastern, um, today we'll have that fork. So um, back to this. The differences are obviously supply, and then uh, they have a little different mining algorithm. They use an optimized X13, this GPU-based. Um, again, 10-minute blocks. They're, uh, they're in the big block camp. They want 8 megabyte blocks. Um, Difficulty is the same. It takes two weeks to adjust difficulty. Um, blockchain is a little smaller in size currently. Um, they do have SegWit implemented. They have replay protection implemented, so that'll probably be uh, a little quicker adoption on the diff various wallets, and we'll get into some wallet support. Um, and then they also are going to support encrypted transactions which by the way is coming to Bitcoin and Litecoin. Um, these are the exchanges that it's going to be supported on. I haven't really heard of these other than maybe Hubi, or Hubi, yeah, Hubi. But uh, these other ones are uh, not really well known here in the US, but, uh, and then also these wallets uh, will be supporting it right off the bat, it seems like. so. Um, I have not heard that any of the hardware wallets like Trezor or Ledger uh, are supporting it yet, um, but I would imagine with replay protection, they'll probably be, there's a bit of work for these guys to support it, so I think they, but that that's a big hurdle, having replay protection will be make, make it more likely that they will. So anyway, thought I would share that with you guys, Bitcoin Diamond. As far as, uh, as, far as what to do with this, I think... Um, you know, there's no harm in holding them, but uh, you have to think in terms of Bitcoin's got a lot of steam ahead of it, uh, and I think that you know, will it will it keep up with the growth of Bitcoin, or do you just get them, cash them out, get into Bitcoin, and ride the wave? Because um, as you know, we, we're projecting it to be about 10k by the end of the year, um, probably headed to 13k of Q1 2018, and we've got a lot of institutional money coming in, so. Uh, my my take would be probably just to convert if I got any to Bitcoin, and uh, go from there. Now, as far as Bitcoin goes, uh, we had some selling, but we got into some technical zones here. Um, been kind of riding this smaller channel as of the last few days. This is a four-hour chart, and uh, but yeah, I'm, you know, <clears throat> every time we seem to get some selling, it gets bought up. And uh, we were pretty much consolidating all through here. And then we kind of rolled over uh, on Thursday, but then uh, ripped higher, broke some technical levels. So the bulls are back in control. Um, 
wouldn't be surprised if we bounced back off this trend line from above and then moved higher. I do think that we're going to see these FIB extensions hit um, just based on the amount of buying that came in here. So that's what I'm looking for this week. Um, after this week, we might get, uh, if we get up here, we might be looking at maybe taking a break after next week. It might be getting overbought, but we'll see. We'll see what the price action dictates. Anyway, guys, that's it. Just thought I would share with you the Bitcoin diamond fork that's happening and uh, just make, make you aware that you might have some allocation coming, but you got to check with your uh, wallet providers um, as they'll be dictating that allocation to you guys. Unless you own your own private keys, then you could import those that into some of the existing supported wallets. But we advocate hardware wallets for your Bitcoin assets. So anyway, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them below. Hit the subscribe button and like button if you like our videos. And uh, we pump them out every day just about. So if you uh, if you hit subscribe, we'll, we'll keep them coming. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of our indicators or packages and learning packages, uh, links are below for our Black Friday specials. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Bye.